I won. Um, not the best video of the year today, but the idea is to uh, probably explain a, a concept uh, dealing with people who are using advertisement uh, within Google Ads and how they can automatically track those uh, traffic directly within uh, Matomo Analytics. This tutorial is far from being uh, perfect because it does not solve the, all the, the solution, but will help you a bit. I would like as well to thank once more uh, Lucas Winkler who really helped me uh, set this tutorial on. So the idea is that uh, when you are using uh, Google Ads, uh, you probably have an issue in terms of tracking your ads. Um, because uh, you need to use uh, UTM parameters if you want those data to be sent to Google Analytics and to uh, Matomo as well. The issue is that if you are using UTM parameters is that uh, you will probably uh, break uh, the integration that you had with uh, Google Analytics and uh, for that you want to keep the classic uh, GCLID parameters of uh, Google uh, Ads in order for the data to be cleaned and sent to Google Analytics and then uh, additionally you would like to send within the Matomo the information that is coming from a Google Ads campaign even if uh, you won't get with the method that I'm showing you right now um, the keywords, uh, campaign names and other things so to say how to send the GCL ID as campaign within Matomo is what this tutorial is about. So in order to do so, uh, we need to look through uh, the documentation of Matomo, which is about how to customize the Matomo campaign parameters, uh, PK campaign and PK keyword. So for this, you will need to sing. Uh, you will need to uh, write uh, or at least override the config file. So to say, you will need to add some uh, code over here within the config file on your server, and you need as well to tweak. Uh, the tracking code of, uh, of Matomo. Not as well that the technique that I'm showing you is not 100% perfect because I didn't have the chance uh, to look further, but I think uh, that uh, when you add your GCL ID parameter, you need as well to complete this given list. If not, uh, you are in fact overriding the default configuration, which is this one. Um, so to say, first thing is that you need to access to the config file when you need to say, okay, here the campaign can carry the name uh, GCL ID. So you need to access on your server on a file uh, which is a uh, name like this uh, config.ini.php and normally on this uh, given file you just need to copy and paste these parts out you see this one that we can see over here just to say okay if you see someday a parameter which is gclid consider this is a campaign uh, next thing that you need to do is that you need to add in my case just add the campaign name you just need to add this line and here over here need to specify the name of the parameter and then uh, you are good to go. So in my case uh, uh, what I did is uh, this is the code I just added just above the track page view the uh, given line with GCL ID and as a result right now if I go over here and if I write uh, a fake uh, GCL ID like 99999 okay uh, then it's gonna fire uh, the information like this so it's not gonna appear directly within the campaign it's gonna appear like this you see uh, so I can do it uh, several times, we say 999, so I'm going to do something which is very original, which is 8888, okay, and uh, like this I can double check and see that I'm getting as well my 888. Okay, so next, how those data will appear? Well, those are recognized as uh, different campaigns, so you can already see the, the drawback of the method, but the thing is that if you are using only uh, Google Ads, you should see actually here uh, over campaign only the different uh, name of each uh, GCL ID and of course uh, over here you can probably change it and keep the name that you want or you can even create a custom report if you want in order to make it a name which is uh, which is different so here I'm just going to invalidate the report in order to show you directly within the UI what it looks like when the data are coming in and that's uh, what we have that we have like this so here you will get in fact each GCL ID coming from Google Ads listed here over campaign and you don't have of course uh, to uh, have the bad surprise to see your uh, Google Ads campaigns coming within uh, this, uh, this given part over here because they have been automatically redirected to campaign. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.